I'm showing you how to install fonts in Photoshop. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and hit the subscribe button. And once you have subscribed, please go and leave a like. I really do appreciate it. Within this tutorial, I'm showing you the full process of adding fonts to Photoshop. So any further ado, let's go and jump into this tutorial. I'm now on my computer and let's go and continue with this tutorial. So of course, the first thing you want to do is make sure you've got Photoshop and you can go and see what fonts you have by simply creating a new sort of document. And then you can go and press the text tool and you can click on it and you can choose any font you'd like. So I'll type in say hi. Um, and I'll change the colour of that and then to change the font double click on it and then you can go and select all the fonts down here and you can go and change it to that now basically to go and change the font and add new fonts I recommend closing Photoshop because when we install the new font we want to make sure Photoshop properly picks up the new font so let's come and close off Photoshop and then uh, we'll go and continue with this. So I'm going to click no. And then all you want to do is open up a search browser of your choice. So I'm just using Google and I'm going to go and search to a site called Defont. Now Defont is an awesome font website basically which finds you fonts and there are so many on here. Some are free, some are paid, but a lot of them are free for personal use basically. So as you can see, it's now loaded and we're just on the homepage. And there are so many fonts you can choose from and they all look really cool. So this brown sugar one actually looks quite cool. Something a bit different um, and it's very different to the fonts I already have so I think it will look cool to go and get it and as you can see if you click on it it's going to give you a bit more information um, and as you can see this demo phone is a per personal use only um, and you need to go and buy it to have the full license to be able to go and monetize this so make sure you go and consider that and um, what you're actually using the font for so then all you want to do is click the download once you decide which font you like click download and it's going to go and download as a zip file normally now if this file won't open for you I recommend using a program called Wimra it allows you to unzip and compress files and it's really effective but there are other apps out there so just find one which works best for you so anyways once you've gone and got it ready then all you want to do is go and click on the zip file now if you're using Wimra it's just going to open up like this and you can go and see the contents of the file and as you can see here is the font here it's going to be a font file so this is an open type font file um, and then there are a few different types of font files but normally your computer can run them absolutely fine so that should be shouldn't be an issue so once you've gone and got the font ready go and double click on it and you can simply go and preview the font as you can see and this is what it looks like it tells you all the different um the, what all the different letters look like and what all the different numbers look like so it's pretty cool and then all we do is hit the install button and it's going to start an install you may need to do like a, a security pop-up which you'll have to say yes on windows um but uh, yeah that's pretty much it and it's gone installed just like so so then you can go and close this and close this and then let's go and open up Photoshop and see what it looks like. So I've now opened up Photoshop and let's go and create a new document. So click File, New, and we'll just make a random one. And then we're going to go and add a new layer. And then we can go and add some text and test out this brand new font. So once again, go and select the text tool. I'm going to place it and then I'm going to go and search for the font. So I, use, I think I got brown sugar. So I'm going to search brown sugar. And as you can see, it then sort of detects it. Or you can go and just look at all your fonts here um, and you can go and check it out. So that's the font there, brown sugar. So then let's go and type something in. So we could say like, um, hey, there, as you can see, it works just like so. Then click the, the tick mark and go and click on the mouse and the cross. And then you can go control T and you can go and look at it. And it's really, really easy, guys. That is how you go and install new fonts to Photoshop. If you have found this video useful, please consider going down below and hitting that like button and then going and subscribing. I really appreciate you watching this. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.